Nick Naranjo writes, Hello, AMC Movie Talk. I love the show and listen every single day. My question revolves around a recent article with George Lucas, who was asked about his opinion on the Episode 7 trailer. And he said he hasn't seen it because he wants to experience the movie in the theater. That is fine, I suppose, but then when the interviewer asked him if he is interested in the upcoming film, he said, Not really. How does this make sense? Is there some sort of bad blood between him and Disney? Or do you just feel he isn't comfortable with his universe being in another person's hands? I think there are, and this is all speculation because none of us have sat down with George Lucas in the last couple of days to talk, hey George, how you feeling? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> I think there's a couple things going on here. One, keep in mind that George Lucas is a human, is actually probably more human than most celebrities you might think. He's actually just an average dude who happened to be a, a genius. And he was very hurt by the response to the prequels, much that I was very hurt by the prequels themselves. Mm -hmm. But he was very <laughs> hurt by them, and I think he recoiled a bit. But I think the real bigger issue here is this is a really intelligent guy, and he is saying exactly what he should be saying. I don't think George Lucas wants the spotlight on him right now. And if someone's going to come to him and talk to him, and an interviewer's going to ask him a question, you know Star Wars questions are going to be asked. He's got to say something. The th one thing he could say that would bring the least amount of attention to him is, no, 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 not really, and then let it go. I almost guarantee you that once the movie comes out and everything's done and, and the movie's now in theaters, then you'll hear George Lucas come out and talk about the movie and say, I'm really proud of what they did or, or all that kind of stuff. But for now, I get the feeling when I read these comments, I feel like here's a guy who's trying to keep the spotlight off himself, trying to stay out of the limelight, keep the attention where it's supposed to be. Because even if he said, I'm really excited about it, you know that all the headlines would be, George Lucas excited about the new Star Wars. George Lucas believes in the new Star Wars. But this, a couple of us are going to talk about it today, and then no one's going to be talking about these comments tomorrow, and I think that's exactly what George Lucas wants. Anyway, that's just my feeling on it. Mark, you, you read the comments. What did you think? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not going I'm, I'm to, I don't want to read too into when he says not really. I think that could, you can take that out of context, and that's very dangerous to do that. He might have just said, ah, not really. I'll come see it when it comes out. You know, the, the fact that he's not as jacked as the rest of us about a new Star Wars doesn't bother me at all, as does the fact that he hasn't seen the trailer yet. If he's morally strong enough to not have to go see every bit of Star Wars footage that comes out, that's kind of cool. I would love to be in a movie theater and just watch Star Wars not having seen any of this, I'm just not strong enough to do it. So if they release 10 trailers ahead of time, I'm going to see all 10 of those trailers because I can't tell myself no. The fact that he hasn't seen it yet, I don't think that's a big deal. Plus, how old is he now? He's like 70? So he didn't grow up knowing that, oh, I got to see this trailer and this trailer and this trailer. He wants to wait until he can see the entire film in a movie theater. That's cool with me. Shep? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like saying not really, though, I'll go the other way. It feels like a little bit of tinge of bitterness. And uh, yeah, I wasn't there, I didn't hear how he said not really, but that shruggy kind of like, I'm wearing plaid, I'm just hanging out, not really. <laughs> he could have said something different. Not really carries a lot. There's a lot of, it just carries a lot with it. I mean, and to me it's like, hey look, he sold his entire franchise. All of us here at the table are not fans of the original prequels, except for you, I know you love Jar Jar. But, <laughs> I, him saying that really is a weird thing. I'll always love George Lucas because he gave us Photoshop, he gave us the Avid, he gave us d digital technology that we all take for granted because he put so much money into ILM and then all, all of the people from ILM created all these amazing things that we use all the time. It's all thanks to George Lucas. People should know that it's not just his movies. He created so much stuff that we use on a daily basis. That's why I, I really love George Lucas. He's a, a, definitely, he's a genius, but hey, he sold the franchise. He knew it was time to let go because he was always saying, no one's ever gonna make any more Star Wars. These six is it. And then as soon as people were like, yeah, but those, those, those prequels that you made are horrible. <laughs> and you made them. You wrote and directed them and they suck. That's a horrible thing if you made that stuff to have to deal with. Look, there's parts of it that are fine. Everyone's gonna get hate mail, whatever. But look, him, selling his baby and having someone else make it without him being involved, I get it. He's like, ah, I'm not really that interested because he's done everything. He's already said everything he has to say. So it's not that bad of a negative thing, but he could have said something besides not really. That's all I'm saying. Christian? I think it stinks. I think the comments stink. <laughs> and I think, I do. I, I'll be honest, I, and I love Lucas. I, I wouldn't have my obsession if it wasn't for him. You wouldn't have half your wardrobe. It's true. <laughs> um, I, but I, I think it stinks. And I think that Schnepp's right in the fact that, because here's his first initial comment where he says, Oh, I, I, want to, I wanted to see it in the movie theater. You're George Lucas. Have someone bring a movie theater to your house, mm. okay? So if he wanted to do that, he could have done that. One of your eight houses. Yeah. yeah, and he also said because no one was showing in the theaters. 
Where did we see the trailer? In the movie theater. You could have seen it. So that's the thing. I would have much rather him come out and said either one of two things. Either the first thing was like, look, it looks interesting to me. I did see it. I, it, it looks interesting. It's a new, I, I would have done things a little different, but I'm very curious to see how they're going to do it and be honest and get your thoughts out there. Great. Or the other thing is just like, I, I'm just, as of right now, I'm going to, I'm going to wait and I'm going to check everything out. It, yet, my plan was not to see it yet. Then I know. But he knew he was going to be asked about it. He knew he was going to be asked about it eventually, like you said. And, and so he thought, it, what's the answer I'm going to say? It's you, like you, like you said, eh, whatever. But I don't think he said that he didn't want to see the movie. The article I read was that he was going to wait to see the movie in the theater. So I do think he wants to see it, but I totally agree with you, the fact that he doesn't like things being taken from him. He didn't like Frank Darabont's script uh, being taken uh, in the Indiana Jones mm -hmm. thing. He, doesn't li he didn't like giving up control. So I absolutely agree with you, Schnepp, is the fact he doesn't like the control going away. And he's like, ah, you know, I've got millions and millions and billions of dollars now, and if you guys like that, fine, but I stick by Jar Jar. And, you know, Jar Jar can, I hope his head's <laughs> on the platter somewhere. Look, I I'm going to tell you guys right now, I think all of you, all of you are drinking strange green milk <laughs> because I am telling you right now, if you actually believe for one second that George Lucas hasn't seen the trailer, I know he said that, but if you actually believe well, why would that, he say it? if I, you I, actually I believe I that for one second, you are certifiably insane. And this whole Call idea- Call me crazy then. I Crazy. Yeah. And if you think for what, don't think for a minute this whole idea that uh, he's kind of tired of Star Wars now. Look in his house. Yeah. George Lucas's home is an archive of Star Wars. He is in love with his franchise. I am telling you right now, the only reason he said those words was because he's a genius. It keeps because I guarantee you, had he said, had he said, I saw the trailer and I really liked it, everybody would be running stories about George Lucas's dissection of the trailer. But now he seems bitter. Everyone's talking you know, about being bitter. I think this is fine. a deflector he's, shield maneuver, yeah, though. It's just totally like, stop asking me. Yeah, he's like, meh, whatever, whatever. It is, it is the one thing he could have said that guarantees that tomorrow nobody's talking about this. Uh, you're wrong. Everyone, we're still talking yeah. about, but it. Tomorrow, yeah, about it. But nobody but else tomorrow, is going to ask him because he said he hasn't done. seen it. Yeah. No, tomorrow, every time they bring up Star Wars yeah. and George Lucas, that shirt, every time I see that, I'll be like, oh yeah, George Lucas is bitter. And don't right. forget, I'm gonna he stands to financially gain from the new, uh, he sold the rights, but he still gets percentages right. of the box office. He wants Star Wars to be the biggest and movie he knows, but he knows ever. It will, but he knows it will be, but he's still... Yeah. Uh, and so John I think, Campia I think drank the Kool-Aid. He's yeah. excited. <laughs> He's happy. I guarantee you he is. And if you guys believe him just doing a beautiful, masterful PR line, guys, come I don't on. I don't believe come it. Come on. Yeah. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.